This is the reading of Matthew, book one, by Joanne Grace. I'm bringing you word, God's word because for a lot of people that are shut in, like myself during the winter time, um, I'm not real motivated to read God's word. Uh, so sometimes I'll take myself out to Tim Hortons, go and read there, and then I'm motivated to come back here. But I've been thinking about all the shut-ins and how hard that has to be for people to be shut in all the time. Um, they can't necessarily read God's Word. I used to do a broadcast for a radio reading service where I would read uh, things to people who um, could not read. So, uh, in light of that, I'd like to read you the Word of God and I'm going to try not to give any of my input, rather just to read the Word of God for you here today. Thank you for listening. Um, my name is Joanne Grace, and I'm reading the Gospel according to Matthew. And this is the NIV, New International Version. The Genealogy of Jesus Christ. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. That's my dog you hear in the background. <laughs> Uh, and J Jacob begot Judah and his brothers. Judah begot Perez and Zerah by Tamar. Perez begot Hezron and Hezron begot Ram. Ram begot Am in Adab. And in Adab begot Nashon and Nashon begot Salem. Solomon begot Boaz by Rahab, Boaz begot Obed by Ruth, Obed begot Jesse. And Jesse begot David, the King David, the son of And Jesse begot David, the King David, the king begot Solomon by her, who had been the wife of Uriah. Pardon me, this is a little difficult to read at times. Solomon begot Rehoboam. Rehoboam begot Abijah, and Abijah begot Asa. Why is the genealogy so important? Honestly, I'm not so sure, but I guarantee you that God's got some pretty specific reason for wanting to share this, and I don't know what it is because I was hesitant to read this to you today. Um, it was the first book I opened up to when I was ready to do my reading, and I figured that's what God wanted me to read. So here I am. I'm going to be faithful and just go ahead and read it to you. Asa begat Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat begot Joram, and Joram begot Uzziah. Uzziah begot jo Jotham. Jotham begot Ahaz, and Ahaz begot Hezekiah. Hezekiah begot Manasiah. Manasiah begot Amon. And Amon begot Josiah. Josiah begot Jeconiah and his brothers about the time they were carried away to Babylon. Asi, maybe that has something to do with it. And after they were brought to Babylon, Jeconiah begot Shealtali, and Shealtali begot Zerubbabel. <laughs> Zerubbabel begot Abed, and Abed begot <laughs> Alakim, and Alakim begot Azar. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so funny. I'm trying to do my best here. Azar begot Zadok. Zadok begot Achim, and Achim begot Elud. Elu begot Elazar, and Elazar begot Mathan, and Mathan begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary. There we go. Finally, something that makes sense. Of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ? I bet Jewish people understand this well. The whole genealogy. Um, from my understanding, born-again Jews are called Messianic Jews, which is awesome to me because they have the whole word, plus they're saved, plus they're born again. 
So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations from David until the captivity in Babylon are 14 generations and from the captivity in Babylon until Christ are 14 generations. Hmm. Now that says something. I don't know what exactly, but I bet you a Jewish person could tell you. And now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. Come here, Dan. You want to come here and read the word? Come on. <laughs> I know you're itching to come in here. Come on, my little doggy. You want to come read the word with mommy? Okay. So, uh, everybody loves a dog, right? There she is, my pretty girl. So here we go. So all the generations, oh, I already read that. Now the, now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother, Mary, was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, before they came together, she was found with the child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. Obviously, he didn't believe her. But while he thought about these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall be... They shall call his name Emmanuel. Ooh, do you know what Emmanuel means? Emmanuel means God is with us. Oh, which is translated, thank you, Lord, God is with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took to him his wife and did not know her. He did not know her. He did not have sexual relations with her until she had brought forth the firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. And that was the first book of Matthew, the first chapter. Thank you.